Hello again, Capricorn. Um, it's that time of the month again where I do a quick synopsis of the Capricorn um, sun sign astrology, which of course is pretty general, but let's see what we can get out of this this month. Right now a uh, full moon is occurring. It's just going off the boil now in the zone of domestic, should I call it bliss, domestic bliss. It may not be so blissful at the moment. There could be a lot of uncertainty in that area. But the good news is that your ruling planet, which has been in the upper part of your horoscope, bringing with it uh, some responsibilities, professional responsibilities, that's uh, adversely impacting upon your home life, or has been. Now we can see that that's passing. And I mentioned that to you uh, over the last few readings. This uh, month, Saturn will, for the first time in two and a half years, move into the next sign of the zodiac. This is the uh, sector of profitability. A lot of Capricorns are going to start to see their life dreams uh, being fulfilled at this time. Now, don't take that literally. <laughs> Depending on uh, which date in Capricorn you were born, it's going to vary with each of you. But let's just say, uh, simplistically, that this next two and a half year period is a time when you can uh, really feel that the hard work has paid off You've got the support of family, friends, that type of thing. Uh, you've had that Mars there in the zone of friendship, which could have been causing a little bit of problem, but that too is uh, about to move its position. That will take place, um, just have a look here, around the 26th of October. So that's not too far off. In the meantime, you've got the sun uh, blazing in the upper part of your horoscope, uh, along with Mercury. Mercury uh, maintains its position there for about eight days. <coughs> so thereafter, 8th to the 10th, we see a, a very big shift. The new moon will take place in your zone of domestic affairs uh, in a couple of weeks. So a whole lot of new things are emerging for you, uh, a new sense of self, uh, some distinct opportunities, so at least self-respect and uh, strong self-esteem with the sun in this 10th house. You should be recognised for what you're doing. Jupiter is casting an incredibly wonderful influence um, there on your career sector. Uh, you're working well, you're working hard, but there's a high degree of optimism here that I see. And once your ruling planet moves to the 11th house, something you've been waiting on for a long time is likely to, to come to fruition. Your thoroughly friendly planet Venus, <coughs> being in the unfavourable eighth sector of your horoscope for the time being, um, has probably made you feel a little under the weather as far as your relationships are concerned. But the full moon just now is good, because that rules your marriage. Um, it's bringing with it some renewed vitality emotionally for you. And when the um, friendly planet Venus transits out of this sector on the 24th of October. That too is very, very lovely. This is uh, <coughs> an opportunity to pursue some of your more recreational um, ambitions, travels, journeys, uh, maybe short courses to enhance your hobbies and uh, personal interests are likely to take place at this time. So I hope so. And uh, I hope if you've had any problems with uh, friends, you can patch that up this combined influence, it's not, <laughs> strictly speaking, an astrological combination according to Western astrologers, the Saturn and the Mars, just in that vicinity. I still take that to mean some frustration surrounding friendships uh, that you're going to have to work through. But I believe you've got that friendly influence of Jupiter there helping you along, giving you that optimism. And you need to take that into any sort of negotiation or <clears throat> reconciliation especially in this area of friends. By doing that, I think it can make the other person feel more at ease and more likely to reconcile with you. That's not going to be possible in every single case, but uh, at least you can say you gave it your best shot. For more detailed information, I have the uh, textual-based monthly readings at my website, astrology.com.au. <clears throat> We've got daily readings there as well, plus a more contextual framework with the yearly readings. 
free psychic readings. We've got a whole batch of new psychics there. You've got to check them out, uh, our Oranum psychics. And you can even have a chat to some of those psychics if you want, if you want to uh, just find out what they're about and whether they're right for you or not. Uh, you can also, if you wish, uh, send me an email if you've got any questions. Uh, I hope I can steer you in the right direction on a m more personal uh, level rather than this general mass astrology, uh, which of course is just the tip of the iceberg. Till next month, have a good one. I look forward to your company here again then. Bye-bye.